Gretsch G5422. I have to check, I have to look inside the hole. Uh, TG, G for gold hardware. It was a special edition, I think, in 2000 and last year, whatever that was, 16. Um, from the Electromatic series, the newly revamped Electromatic series, the Korean made Gretsch guitars, obviously based on a double cut White Falcon, and very sexy it is too. Um, so I was doing some demos on the Anderton's channel and they'd just come in and picked it up and played it and thought, that's really nice. Put it down, walked away, because it's not normally the kind of thing I would have. Gold hardware, not a huge fan of that, you know, big flashy guitar. Anyway, and it was kind of like in the head, worming away there, going, buy me, buy me, buy me. So a few weeks later, I phoned up and said, actually, is, is that guitar still there? They said, no, 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 we sold that. And I, and I thought, okay, the next one probably won't be as good. Anyway, so I phoned up Gretsch and said, and my friend at Gretsch, and said, could you possibly send me one of those, um, one of those guitars I'd really like to try it? And he said, yes, we can. We can send you one to look at, no problem. And uh, it duly arrived, and it was every bit as good as the as the one I tried in Anderson. So a deal was done, and uh, happy days. So the guitar is exactly as it came out of the uh, box. These are Gretsch Blacktop Filtertrons, which are sort of reminiscent of the Baldwin era uh, Gretsch pickups, as far as I'm aware. I'm definitely not an expert on Gretsch pickups. Um, but they're called Blacktop Filtertrons. They are humbuckers. They're not very high output. Um, sometimes when Dan and I use this guitar on the show, we sometimes give it a little bit of a boost uh, with a 3 2 one or something, but actually, for me, that plays into the guitar into the guitar's favour because it has a very different response and sound from most of my other guitars. But no, completely standard. Um, cool thing about it is it has a pinned bridge, so anyone who's dealt with a traditional Gretsch guitar will know that this thing moves around, which is a right pain unless you really care about such things. Um, it doesn't have the pit string through Bigsby, so it's a bit of a pain changing strings. Um, it does have a treble bleed on the master volume control and there's some other knobs down there. Just turn them up to 10 and use this one. So this guitar's main strength is how it looks. Um, there comes a point in your life where you need to stand on a stage with a big white and gold guitar and play an E minor chord, and uh, that, that moment came, and uh, therefore that's what this is for. And I don't know, there's just something endlessly cool about it. And it really divides opinion because other people say, oh, it's, the, it's a gore. I took it home and my wife was like, what on earth is that? Gordy, it's not you at all. And I'm like, yes it is, yes it is, watch. <laughs> One thing that really impressed me about the first one I played was that it was just, it played really well straight out of the box. Um, a lot of Far Eastern guitars really don't, and having worked for years on magazines where they send you a guitar and like fettle it to within an inch of its life before it gets anywhere near you, actually having the, um, the pleasure of being in and around Andertons every now and again, you see what they are actually like out of the box. And this one out of the box, or the one that I played before, was pretty fab. This one um, was the same 
if you are a kind of newbie and you're going into a guitar shop and you need it to play easy and fast and all of that, it's set up perfectly for that. For me, the action needed to come up and I needed to put some 11s on it, which I've done, which in my opinion has improved the guitar immeasurably, both in terms of how I like it to feel and, and how it sounds. Nope, uh, I just want to play it more really, which is the stock answer for that question. Um, no, just want to play it more. 